The next item that would be useful in solving uh, differential equations are eigenvalue problems. Now, an eigenvalue problem is the problem, as you're trying to solve a problem where you have a matrix A uh, times a vector x equals uh, lambda x. Which, what you're really interested in is when ax uh, equals 0. Um, now, when ax equals 0, that's great, and you're trying to find the x's that make that true. And uh, when, when the x's that make that true are just, uh, the, it's the 0 vector, that's not all very interesting. And, and so there are other solutions for ax equals 0 when x has actually um, got values in it. And it, it can be shown uh, that those uh, solutions are uh, solutions to, to this, um, this equation, ax equals lambda x, where we have lambda as a scalar, x is a vector, and, and a is a matrix. So, uh, and a has to be uh, a square matrix for these eigenvalues to exist. So this is called an eigenvalue problem, and the values of lambda that make this true are called um, eigenvalues, eigenvalues, and the values of a, or excuse me, the values of a are set. The values of x that make this true, that correspond to the values of lambda. So for each lambda that makes this true, there will be an x that corresponds to that lambda. Um, and the x's that correspond to the lambdas uh, will be called uh, the eigenvectors. And um, that's all great, but you might ask, okay, what in the world uh, does this have to do uh, with the ordinary differential equations that we're trying to solve? And if you're asking yourself that question, that is a perfectly good question. What, what in the world, it looks like we're going back to uh, linear algebra now, what does this have to do with uh, differential equations? Well, um, it actually has a lot to do with differential equations if we just see how. It, it's not general, um, but, but it is a specific type of differential equation. So I've come back over here, just zoom, uh, slid back over here to the finite difference method. When we were talking about the finite difference method, I said, uh, remember I said, what if um, uh, dy dx is equal, it could be decomposed into this f of x uh, plus f of y component, and then we could decompose it, and then we could solve the system. Great. Um, and that worked out uh, just fine, except I have another question. What would happen if, uh, in addition to you know all the conditions that we uh, said uh, before holding, what if actually uh, this f of x is well, let's get a different color. What if this the value of f of x is zero? What what then uh, if f of x equals zero? Well, uh, let's look uh, down in the rest of the equation. We we end up getting this this um, a times this, this vector of y's uh, is equal to some f of x times h. We go to boundary condition, but we can ignore that for the moment. Uh, and say which is f of x. Well, this is saying that f of x equals 0, right? There's no f of x component. So what we're solving is this matrix A times this mat unknown matrix uh, or an unknown vector um, is equal to 0. Well, that ends up being exactly an eigenvalue problem. Because as I stated originally, an eigenvalue problem is where we're trying to solve the, for the values when ax equals zero. Specifically, we're trying to find we're trying to we, we want to know the vectors um, that make uh, ax equals zero. But in particular, uh, we can find the eigenvalues, the eigenvector, solve this equation, ax equals lambda x. Right. So uh, this is an eigenvalue problem, and that is how it is related. To the, to the differential equation. That's, that's one way it's related to differential equations. There are actually other ways that we can relate it and other ways that we can come up with a problem that, that ends up being uh, an eigenvalue problem.